Hey everyone, today I'm making something different. It's not soap, but it's kind of soap-ish. Um, this is washing soda, which is otherwise known as sodium carbonate. And this is the stuff that I use in my laundry soap mixture. Anyway, on the back of this packet, there's this recipe for miracle spray, which also my mum told me about. And I just had to try it. <laughs> so I'm going to share it with you, the making of it. Um, it's a miraculous all-purpose cleaner that cuts through grease and grime in the kitchen, bathroom and laundry or anywhere around the home, apparently. So I was just really itching to try it and I thought this will be fun. I'll just record it. So you need the washing soda. Um, you need white vinegar. You do need dishwashing liquid, but I don't have any. So I'm just going to use my liquid soap, my homemade liquid soap. Um, that was eucalyptus oil and you also need an empty clean two litre bottle. You just need a jug and some basic measuring tools as well. This is a really, really simple recipe to make and I'll put a link to the original recipe on their website below. So to start off, you just get one cup of boiled water. Just be really, really careful. Um, I probably shouldn't have measured that into that <laughs> small cup. Never mind. And to that, the recipe said use three, three dessert spoons of washing soda, sodium carbonate, but I just use tablespoons. I think that's pretty similar to the amount that you would get in a dessert spoon. And stir the sodium carbonate of the washing soda, stir that to dissolve it into the hot water. Sodium carbonate is a mildly alkaline substance, so it is used in, in a lot of cleaning um, preparations, especially homemade ones. So to that I added 300 mils of white vinegar, which is a bit interesting because we're adding an acid to a base then. And the recipe calls for 60 mils of dishwashing liquid, but I don't use it. I haven't had any for years, so I added 60 mils of my handmade liquid soap. This was my liquid Castile soap. I do have a video for that if anybody's interested. Anyway, I'm really keen to try this with the proper dishwashing liquid because the Castile soap, it did, the liquid soap did separate out a little bit. Um, I'm not sure if it really affected the performance of it, but it might be better using dishwashing liquid. I'd love to know if anybody's made the proper version with dishwashing liquid. To that, I add 25 mils of eucalyptus essential oil. That is probably optional. If you don't have essential oil, you can probably leave that out, but it does smell pretty amazing. And then you can see as I'm pouring this into the bottle, you can see the separated chunky bits. I'm pretty sure that's from using liquid soap instead of commercial detergent dishwashing liquid. <laughs> but never mind, these things happen. That would probably be the handmade soap reacting with the vinegar, I would think. I need to do a bit more research. I'd love to know if anybody else has got any really good recipes for a multi-purpose spray. Please tell me. To that, all you do is add about another 1.25 litres um, to the bottle to make up to the 1.5 litres in total because remember we started off with one cup of boiling water so you just add enough to bring the whole water amount up to 1.5 litres, which is roughly about 1.5 quarts. Um, you can, you can um, do a unit conversion to put this into quarts and ounce, liquid ounces if you want. And then just shake it up. So you just shake, 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 shake. Um, like I've already said, it did separate a little bit, but I found that if I kept shaking it as I was using it, it worked pretty well. I'm going to give you a demo of me trying this out in my kitchen and also doing a bit of cleaning in my bathroom. So I'll show you how it works and give you a bit of commentary on what I thought of this recipe. Um, this is just an old multi-purpose spray cleaning bottle that I had that I bought around the beginning of COVID actually to kind of do a bit more cleaning around the house because I don't use spray cleaners. I use my soap for a lot of things and Honestly, I just use um, water to wipe my benches. I don't use any products on my benches at all because I'm often kneading dough and, and things. So I don't want chemicals on my benches. Um, but I thought this might be really nice for some of those grimy jobs and um, to use in the bathroom as well to replace commercial cleaning products, which I use but 
only minimal any, minimally and if I can replace them then that would be even better. Just make sure you label anything that you make at home because you might think that you'll remember what it is but you probably won't. If you're anything like me you probably won't. So this is my kitchen sink. I didn't clean it. This is just what it looks like just after sitting there with the drainer on it for a day or two. I tend to I'm a pretty clean person so I do wipe it down every every day or so but um, yeah I just thought I'd try this cleaner so I'm just giving this a wipe with a damp cloth and I have to tell you I don't know if you'll get what I'm saying here but it actually feels quite good I like the way it really slides on the stainless steel it's just got a nice feel to it um, and it certainly did all come up very shiny. I did rinse it off. I edited that part out, but I rinsed it off, just rinsed out the cloth and it came up really shiny and clean. So that was pretty good. And I thought I'd um, give it a go in my bathroom as well. So I had to shake it before I used it each time, um, which wasn't brilliant. And I need to probably find another recipe that might work with my liquid soap or maybe not use the liquid soap in it I don't know maybe get some detergent off my mum and try it out with that but um, just cleaning the bathroom vanity here it worked really well everything came up really shiny like I said it feels good like it kind of slides really nicely it feels like it's a I don't know it just feels like it's cleaning um, it smells amazing with the eucalyptus oil and you can see the shine there it came up really good and the taps really shiny there was no residue it was really easy to clean off I thought I'd try it on my shower screen as well um, just to see how it went on glass unfortunately it did leave some streaks on the glass which you'll see um, but I I tried it on this outside part of the glass but I also did did clean the oh sorry about the tree lopping noise in the background there this is the problem with <laughs> working at home making YouTube videos you've got no control at all and just when you want to do a video the tree loppers start <laughs> anyway I gave it a good clean and it really did clean off the soap scum in the shower not that there's much with my soap but um, I, I did clean down the bottom of the glass the really grimy bit and it cleaned it off quite well um, it wasn't so great on the just the general glass part I did need to rinse out my cloth and then run another clean cloth over the top to get that white film off so it's not the best just plain glass cleaner but if you're just wanting something to clean your tiles and clean just light sort of soap scum off your shower glass or your bath um, then it worked pretty well I was reasonably happy with it um, you can see the white streaks there yeah so it doesn't it's not the best glass cleaner but once I got a fresh freshly rinsed out cloth over that sorry about that chainsaw in the background um, once I got that freshly rinsed out cloth and then went over it again with the dry cloth it came off great so if you've got a bit of patience and you don't mind a little bit of a household cleaning workout then if you want to clean your glass this will clean your glass as well you just need to wipe off that little film that it leaves on the first pass um, and that's it I'd love to hear if you have got any <laughs> happy happy household cleaner there um, I'd love to hear if you've got any suggestions for me or other recipes that you know of for household cleaners that you'd like to try um, and yeah thanks for watching everyone Maybe next YouTube video I do, I'll try and get it on a day when people aren't lopping down a giant big tree down the road. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, let me know what you think and if you've got any ideas. Uh, if you'd like to support my channel, please head to buymeacoffee.com slash Ellie's every day and I'll see you again soon.